Hey guys, this is eFitter7 with another weathering video. But uh, this time, we're going to be working on an HO scale piece of rolling stock. Let's get started. So, the materials we're going to need for this project are going to be, of course, the victim here, uh, otherwise, this Penn Central boxcar. Um, some assorted rust colored acrylic paints. Here I have burnt sienna and raw umber. Um, some AIM products weathering powders, specifically the dark earth color. A fade mixture, which I'll explain more about later. Um, this airbrush here is optional, but if you use one, uh, it helps the car look a little bit better in my opinion. Um, a small flathead screwdriver for taking off the trucks and wheels. Some makeup sponges. A uh, brown Elmer's paint pen. Uh, some assorted paint brushes and some pastels that you can use to make weathering chalks or weathering powders uh, a hair dryer and of course a latex glove so in order to prep this car for the weathering that I'm going to be doing to it uh, first we need to remove the trucks and wheel sets this will allow us to have easy access to the car underbody as well as keep the wheels clean from any residue Alright guys, so the next step after we've removed the trucks and wheels is to go ahead and load up our airbrush with a little bit of our fade mixture and the fade mixture is basically just a little bit of white acrylic paint um, diluted with water and a little bit of either isopropyl alcohol or a few drops of dish soap in it to break surface tension and we're going to go ahead and airbrush this car all over to fade down this green paint now we're going to get started with the airbrushing. So next we're going to be using our hair dryer to dry the paint that we just sprayed on with the airbrush. So here's what the car looks like after three coats of the fade mixture. This is the side that we faded down, and this is the unfaded side. I don't know if the camera's picking up the difference, but it's definitely more faded on this side, which is nice. So right now, this is what we're going to try to replicate on the roof. You see how certain areas are rusty and other areas are clean. That's because certain panels on these boxcars have actually been replaced. Here's another angle. I'm going to really try to get that rusty texture that you see there on the right. I think that looks awesome. So this is what we're going to try to uh, replicate right here. Here we can see I just used the makeup brush and a little bit of raw umber and splotched it on the roof panels that I wanted to be rusty like the photo. I also applied just a little bit on the door as well as using what paint I had left over to kind of add a little bit of rust to the bottom of the car. Now applied all the blotchy spots where I want my first color of rust which was the raw umber done to the roof to the car ends done it to the coupler the side of the cars mainly around the door a lot along the bottom and then finally went to town with rusting out the underneath of the car. Next I used one of the assorted paint brushes that I had with short stubby bristles as you can see and I just dry brushed a little bit of streaking down the side of the car. Um, while I have the raw umber out and the paintbrush dirty I'm gonna go ahead and do the trucks and wheels and I'll show you how to do that right now. Here you can see I dismounted the wheel sets from the trucks. This is simply done with your fingers. You just apply, apply a little pressure to one side of the truck and kind of pull up and the wheel set can just pop out and then you can remove it. Now I'll show you how to paint these to look awesome. What I've done here is just use this brown Elmer's paint pen and gone around the faces of the wheels. Now that we've reassembled the trucks, we can get on with weathering the rest of the car with powders. 
Now I'm not completely done with the roof yet, I just wanted to show you how amazing the powders make the weathering look. They really tie all the colors together and really help it spread and really give it texture and make it look like rust. Here are some panels that I've done and here are the panels that I haven't done yet and you can really see what a difference these powders make. They're a really great product, they're very easy to use and they're very hard to mess up so I would highly recommend them to anyone who's just beginning or anyone that's an experienced modeler or weatherer that hasn't heard of these yet before. I've since gone back, clear coated it with Krylon Matte Crystal Clear which was another one of the things I forgot we needed for this weathering project but really any clear coat spray paint will work. Uh, I recommend the Krylon Crystal Clear in a matte or a satin finish uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it's a lot cheaper than dull coat. Uh, you get a lot more for your money and it looks just as good. Now that I'm done with the roof, I'm going to work on the rest of the car body with the powders. Alright guys, here's the final product. It's had its final coat of clear coat and powders reapplied. Um, I think this piece came out really, really nice, and I might actually put it up on eBay. I'm not sure, but I might, depending on uh, if I need money for the O-Scale stuff or not. But this was just a fun little weekend project, and uh, I think it turned out really nice. It was fun to do, and it came together really well. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.